Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back watching Breaking Bad Season 5, Episode 7. Now, I'm predicting this episode is going to be epic. Like they all have been. For many reasons, but the first and foremost is because the episode title is Say My Name. And I've already just got Walter's head in my in my Walter's <laughs> face in my head. <laughs> voice in your head? Yes, I got Walter's voice in my head. Just I can imagine him saying that line with grunt, with just you know grit. Who is he going to say it to? I don't know. I don't know. I can't imagine him wanting to bitch Mike like that, like not on a negative tone. Mm. And Mike's not one you can really intimidate anyway. Well, Walter seems to have this plan that could help all of them get what they want, which is Mike and Jesse Jesse out of the business and Walter's still cooking. Yeah. Now, Makes is, me nervous what this plan is. Yeah. But is someone from Walter's past or someone that we haven't seen in a while, are they going to come into play? And then that's why I'd say my name. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. But it just makes me think that everything's coming to a bit of a, a crux point or a, not a crux point. What's the word? Everything's coming to a bit of an intersection at the moment. Yeah. With this part of the story, everything that's happened post Gus, they've reached the wall and whatever decisions made here is going to, I think, send us into the second half of this season, which will be the final half of this season. So. Right. So you're saying you think this episode is really going to cut a pole the story. Yeah, I don't know about this episode, maybe, but this decision, th th this outcome with Mike and Jesse and Walt yeah. is going to then send us into the the final chapter in what, how Walt's doing everything. Which will bring us a year later, which is interesting because we spent four seasons in one year. That's crazy. And then now in the final season, I don't know if we'll get to cover the whole year in one season, but we do know that we've at least got a conclusion or the start of some kind of scenario a year later. Yeah, no, that's wild. I don't... <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing the events from now till then. But I'm also trying to savour it. Because as we get closer, I get more and more sentimental yeah. and a bit sad that, oh, no, this is almost wrapping up. It's, you underestimate there's always a safety net in the early seasons when you're like, yeah, we can watch. I just want to yeah. watch more. You know, there's so much more to come. Then when all's coming to an end and you feel that in the show, you feel like arcs are wrapping up, character stories are starting to come to their close. Yeah. You're like, oh shit, no, 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 now it's happening too soon. I know. We're not going to be able to see the characters again for a very long time. And you know the things well, that I'm... many of them are dead, probably a lot of them never. Yeah, true, true. Unless we do a rewatch. But <laughs> that was like very dramatic. The things that I'm looking forward to the most toward the end of the series is Jesse finding out about Walt, just his true intentions and the kind of person he actually is and taking off those rose colored glasses, but also the Hank and Walter showdown. I think those are my two favorite things that I'm waiting for. And I do hope they do really well. Look, everyone said that they're happy with how Breaking Bad finishes. So Probably it ends really well. And I can see that. I can see it being done justice. I think the story is tame enough and they've got all the pieces where they need to be to be yeah. able to really end this yeah. in a really emotional and unforgettable way yeah yeah so is this the episode that mike dies i don't know if he even dies but we keep theorizing that he's going to yeah. die this past season i've been theorizing that mike is going to die by walter's hand i really don't want him to die but him wanting to go out and proving to be a liability with da on his back I think Walter's just not gonna not gonna take too kindly to it. Yeah. Thank you everyone over on Patreon for supporting the channel. If you do want to watch three to four weeks ahead and get early access to our edited and uncut reactions, we'll leave a link in the description down below. And if you guys are watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Oh shit. Big scene. The music straight into it. The three bald heads. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. just not bald, but... Almost. Nice man. What's this big bad plan? Oh, I'm ready for Walter's negotiations. <laughs> Looks like you're about a thousand gallons light here, Mike. Where's the juice? Methylamine isn't coming. It's pretty... 
crazy to say, hey. Who the hell are you? I'm the man who's keeping it. <laughs> Holy shit. Mike doesn't know where it is. Only I do. And you're dealing with me now, Nadia. Oh, shit. A thousand gallons of methylamine is worth more in my hands than it is in yours, or anyone else's for that matter. But I need distribution. He's really bargaining right now? I'll give you 35% of the take. 35%? Wow, are you kidding me? Who are you talking to, Walt? Why the hell would we want you? You realize we have our own operation, right? I know all about your operation. See, my partners here tell me that you produce a meth that's 70% pure, if you're lucky. Oh, it's a joke. It's a oh, joke. Oh, damn. It's grade school t-ball versus the New York Yankees. Oh, oh <laughs> shit. He laid down the law. It's not a gun, it's not. My partner tells me that your crew switched to a P2P cook because of our success. You dye your meth with food coloring to make it look like mine. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, shit. God. They're wannabes. A better high means customers pay more. That is business. That's $130 million of profit that isn't being pissed away by some substandard cook. Now you listen to me. Oh, you listen to Walter. Is Walt gonna say, say my name? Mike Cutterson. Mike is retiring from our crew, so his share of the partnership is available if you can handle his end. If. Oh, that's very smart. Okay. Big if. Are you ready? Are you ready? Holy shit. Talk about a bargain. Oh, damn. Why do I feel like they're not going to take it, though? Who the hell are you? You all know exactly who I am. Say my name. Say my name. Oh. <laughs> I'm the man who killed Gus Fring. Bullshit. Oh, Martelga. shit. Oh, wow. He's handling himself really well here. And he wants that known. Now, say my name. Oh, my God. He's really bitched him. Eisenberg. Eisenberg. Damn right. Oh. oh, my God. Dude, he handled that brilliantly. Oh, yeah. The guy's confidence is through the roof right now. He's nothing like season one. Yeah, I can't he's... say I didn't enjoy that. Like, th those are the environments that I want Ego Inflated Volto in. Yeah. Do you ever see the one, though? Like, when the cops are going by and he's got the gun in yeah, his no, hand and then he goes... Yeah, nah. Oh, that was it. Say my name, baby. <laughs> All right. So, he got his five mil. Poor Jesse didn't even get out of it. Maybe we should talk about how and when I'm going to get my $5 million. And we will do that. Oh, no. Seriously? I'll need a little help getting things up and running during this transition. You can at least do that for me, right? Oh, the man's done enough for you. We'll figure it out. Oh, no. He's not getting out. And that's Mike knows it. Not, Mike knows it. That's not good for Jesse. That's ridiculous. Because Michael's a threat, not Jesse. The DEA will do a sweep. Can't say when, could be any time. But you need to get it out of there. Sooner rather than later. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. No, thanks for the five million dollars. No. No. Sorry for chaining you to a radiator. No. No. Just get the bug, Walter. Yeah, it's purely business for Mike. But it is sad seeing him go. It's not business between him and Jesse, though. I'm out, too. Kid, just look out for yourself. Aww. Damn, he's not out. Stupid Walter. I feel so bad for him, man. And Mike doesn't even have the courage to tell him, you know? Yeah, he doesn't want to meddle. He's got a whole other affair. He's too tired. Are we good? You tell me. Okay, Jesse, back it up.
They closed business for the day for their. Oh, they saw the methyl mean here. Who are you hiding it from? I said, don't worry about it. From the police? Or someone else? Yeah, does she have reason to be scared? He doesn't really care what she thinks of him anymore. He doesn't even want to, yeah. you know, put to bed that, oh, he might have killed someone. Oh, what'd you bring me this time? They're bacon banana cookies. Is there bacon in these? Oh, my God. <laughs> she loves it. Bacon and banana? Ugh. Is this the guy that Mike used? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Is it Mike putting... What's money, maybe? Yeah. Giving all the employees their money? I don't know. Yeah. Who's the, ex who's the extra one? 603. He's doing it for... Um... His granddaughter. No, that wouldn't be extra. Jesse, maybe? I don't know. Okay, yeah, maybe. I don't even know if I'm right about this. Oh, the rest is going in there. Six no, that, that must be his granddaughter's then. Must have had a secret or something. Yeah. Yeah. On her 18th birthday. Holy wow. shit. Dude, give me a grandpa like that. That's sick. <laughs> Young Kaylee's going to need a second safety deposit box if you decide to leave one more dollar to her. Oh, wow. I don't like the music. The music's going very... Sad. What's he doing? Okay, getting rid of everything. Oh, I'm just hoping he's not going to off himself. Same, That's I'm same. I've got a feeling for some reason. Was well, getting rid of all his guns. He had an insurance plan as well to get out. And I was worried about those other guys knowing that he wants out. Because they might then see him as expendable. I don't know. Hmm. Search so he was preparing for this already. He knew that. What about his car, though? With the money, the bag. That's why I left it all there. <laughs> These cops, they're so out of their depths. How's that restraining order working out for you? Oh, Hank. Sorry, brother, but you're being way outplayed here. Suicide, don't they? Tell the wagon boys they can have one. Okay. Hank's not happy. Mm -mm. <laughs> He's too relaxed. Perfect timing. Just about to get started. Uh, you know, if you can get going on that settling tank, that would be a huge help. He said he's out. He's doubling down. Doubling down. Mm -hmm. He's so dismissive. Cooking 100 pounds a week, not 50. He's going in the opposite direction. Why not? You deserve it. That's not what he wants. You're every bit as good as me. Well, <laughs> what do you think? He's trying every tactic possible. I just want to get my money and and get out. Oh, I want that for him too. Being the best at something is a very rare thing. You don't just toss something like that away. Jesse doesn't want to be the best at this. To do what? I don't know. Well, think. To do what? Anything but this, honestly. What have you got in your life, huh? Nothing. Nobody. Oh, wait, Aww. yes. Video games and go-karts. Dude, Walter, come on, man. There's a low blows. I'm about to bop him one. I know how upset you are about what happened to this boy. I am just as upset as you are. Oh, shut up. How are you? Really? Speak up, yes. How can you say that to me? Jesus. Oh, shut up, Walt. What happened to that boy is a tragedy. I'm an... And it tears oh me up inside. No, it doesn't. How many more people are going to die because of us? No one. None. Well, the people taking meth as well. You keep saying that and it's bullshit every time. Yeah, it far out. You just give me my money and you and I, we're done. Finito. He's not going to give him the money. Why? Why do you want this money? I'll piss off, Walt. Because it's mine? It's my cut? 
But isn't it filthy blood money? Oh. I'm so more. manipulative, man. So manipulative. You want it. You want it just as much as I want it. And it's not wrong to want it. Who wants the money? That's it. I don't care. Yes, you do. It's on you. All right. Oh. I'm done. No, you're not. You're not. Oh. Done. You're not leaving. You couldn't even because dangle if you the money. Leave, you get nothing. You understand me? Nothing. You get nothing, Walter. Jesse didn't play his game. Ooh. The last person you could manipulate? No longer. What's he gonna find? Hank. I think we're going to wrap this up. If Asex Schrader can stay behind while everyone else clears out. What was that? The last picture he was on was the cafe. Yeah, what, the what was it together? Why is he so shaken up? It's one case out of dozens, and you don't play favorites with it just because it used to be yours. That's true. That's he true. That's it. true. I'm just going to bottom line this for you. Their surveillance budget for Ermin Trout is now zero. We clear? Oh, wow. Holy shit. Okay, so. He gets his little up and then he has to take that away now. Nobody wants to bite. Christ. Really the most loyal crew in history or someone's still paying them off. Yep, someone's still paying them off. He represents every one of these douchebags except for Airman Trump. This one's still paying. You find out more about the lawyer? You want me to start tailing a lawyer? Hank is too sharp, man. Do it. You're the boss. Oh, someone's going to talk. They're going to get their money. Well, the lawyer, potentially. All right. Shall we get started? You know, I know that... I knew it. Is for all of us. Is Todd. Oh, my God. You just love replacing people, don't you, Walt? Listen and apply yourself. If you do that, then we just might have a fighting chance here. Todd doesn't know what he got himself into, man. This is weird, man. It's not the same without Mike and Jesse. It's not the same. So he's not Gail, who was pretty gifted. And he's not Jesse, who... Who's a day one. Yeah. It's just... He's a sheer replacement. But Jesse was also enthusiastic. This guy just wants the dosh. Out of desperation, he's showing Todd his product. If Todd learns it and then gets out, that's dangerous. Well, see, all that stuff is very like short, quick, snappy stuff. So I don't know. Because Todd's not going to be as loyal as Jesse was. No. There's no way he just replaces Jesse like that and then doesn't want to pay him at all. I do all right. You did fine, Todd. You applied yourself. That's as much as I can ask. Seems like a weird interaction. His tone seems off. Hmm. Todd said we could talk money once I get this right, but I feel like he's got playing his own angle there. Cake pops. The balls of cake on a stick. Very nice. Thank you, Dan. She's off today. Oh no. What's happened? Oh, well, Hank Nelda here. Oh, my God. Oh. oh. <laughs> that smile. Oh, God. I knew that was just waiting there. Fuck. Hank's too the bloody good man. Oh, no. It's like you want Hank to win, but you don't want Mike to lose. Yeah. Why are they even pretending anymore? I don't know, Mom. I'm working with a new guy now. She doesn't even want to hear it. Not at all. There's just nothing there, dude. It's very trying, sad to see. Hey, I really am. I'm trying, but there's... there's... <laughs> oh, my God. He's going to take the bug out now. Such a mess. Yeah. 
I mean, we both is he gonna leave we, this we time? Just, just screwed up. Hank is uncomfortable. <laughs> um, do you, do you have any coffee? Maybe I can coffee. You bet. Yeah, you bet. We can take. Uh, he's gonna rice. call someone to get him coffee. Oh no, Hank he's can't wait to get out there. He's left. I'm nervous. So am I. I'm, I'm sorry to waste your time here. Oh, oh, I really. Uh, it's, you know, but it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> It is what it is. <laughs> Awkward as. <laughs> Could you excuse me? Oh, yeah, 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 sure, sure. Tell me something good. You tell me. I swear to the guy for 14 hours. That should be some kind of record. He's going to overhear it. He's going to flip. He's willing to give us Aaron Trout. <laughs> that is... Oh, dangerous. damn. Oh, that changes things. And then Mike means, whoa. Oh, Mike's just trying to live his grandpa life. God damn it. Oh, no. The granddaughter's just going to see him getting taken away or something. Oh. Look, there's a small situation with the money. Uh, I don't want to do this on the phone. Are you available? I can come by in a few hours. No, that's not good for me. Where are you now? I'm at the park with my grandma. No. Where exactly? No. No. Oh my god. All the cops are gonna swarm. That's Get out of there. Eager. Get out of there. He knows. He knows. Mike, they're coming for you. Right now, they're coming. Slow down, Walter. Who? The DEA. The DEA. Somebody flipped. They have uh, some some kind of bank surveillance and something about some lawyer. Someone is talking. Leave, please. Oh shit. How are they there already? He's got to leave his granddaughter. So they get taken down in front of her or leave her there by herself? Like, what do you do? Dan Waksberg. <laughs> he would have had better luck with the law firm of Molary and Shemp. <laughs> <laughs> He's like offended. Because if the DEA catches up with him and he flips... It's good night, John Boy. No, no way Mike would ever flip. He trusts in that. <laughs> oh Which one of his phones? I got a go bag at the airport. Passports, money, their eyes everywhere. I can't get close. I need you to pick up that bag and get it to me as soon as possible. How thick the crap storm is out there because of this. I told you not to use that lawyer. He's a hack. Shut up. He just wants to get, get his. Bag. I told you so. In. I can do it, okay? It's not a problem. No, Jesse. Jesus, I'll do it. Besides, you're out, remember? Mike, tell me where to get this bag. Okay, good. Oh, fair enough. Good. I'm worried about that. So am I. What is happening? Oh, God. I can't trust anything these days. Like, there was once where we He's could walking trust. walking to shoot him, dude. It was a gun. It was a gun. And it's like a normal suspect wall. Oh, no. Please not like this. But what does he get out of it? Because either way, the nine men still talk. On mic. They don't know anything about Walter and Jesse. Yes, they do. No, they don't. So one of them was at the laundry. Yeah, they do. No, but they don't know the running this operation at all. They just know about Yeah, but they knew about beforehand. They I'm do, sure. they know. I need something from you. And what's that? The names of your nine men. <laughs> why? You know why. We deserve to know. The only thing left to do now is leave town. You understand? He's not going to accept that. I've got a family. I've got people who depend on me. Not really. Has he taken something out of that bag? The gun. You're welcome. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, no, what? You screw up, get yourself followed by the DEA, and now suddenly this is all my fault. Of course, you're the one that blew everything up in the first place. We had a lab. We had everything we needed. It all ran like clockwork. Oh, yep. Yeah. You just had to blow it up. You and your pride and your ego. Finally. Damn. Someone telling him. 
Okay, he's got nothing in his hand. Good, good, we're good. But he's angry, I don't care. I'm still left like this of a plan. No, what's he doing? No. What's he doing? What's he doing? No, 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 no. The gun, the gun, the gun, the gun. I fucking knew it, man. What? I fucking I don't, I can't knew even say it. the word that I think he is. I can't even. I can't. It's too vulgar. Don't act concerned now. What has he done, man? You knew what you were doing when you took it out of that bag. Oh, he's gone. Oh, shit. Oh, I mean, I guess Mike was going to kill him once upon a time too, but I, I like Mike a lot, man. This sucks. Yeah, but that was different, I feel. It was business. It wasn't personal. And what? You just go shoot the guy who spoke the truth to you? Oh my god. Oh my god. Why well, he's holding a gun, but he just held it. He's dying, man. He wants to die looking at the lake. What the hell? The least you can do is let him die in peace. Piss off. I just realized that Lydia has the names I can get them from her. I'm sorry. Uh, what? I think like he didn't need to shoot him. This whole thing could have been avoided. Shut the fuck up. I know. Let me die in peace. I know. Exactly what I said. Oh, wow. Is he finally seeing himself yet? Or no? It's a fitting death for Mike, but shit. He doesn't deserve it. Oh my god. Oh, that sucks. That's sick. Oh man. We were sort of ready for it, but you're never really ready for it. Like yeah. we were expecting it at some point. I was expecting it from last season. But man, oh, I will say, I really like the way they did his death. I think it was a very Mike way to go. Yeah. The way he just took it on the chin, accepted it, and he just, I don't know, watched the lake, wanted to at least have a moment of peace before the end. I know, why the fuck would you want Walter yapping in your ear about how he made a mistake? Like, piss off. At least let it mean something. Like, why are you telling the guy you regret it two seconds after, like, you've pretty much killed him? He had the gun in his hand. He could have just been too far gone, but also maybe for Jesse's sake, he didn't want to kill Walter because Jesse still needs things from him and he's just like, I'm not gonna... I don't know. I don't think it was that, personally. Um, especially, like, Mike did hear, Jesse, you're out anyways. So, oh, no. like, he heard that over the phone. I think it was just, like, you're dying. You've got no strength left. Like, he could barely open his mouth to just say, like, fuck off. It's crazy, though. Like, Mike fought so hard till the end, planned everything to go out like that. Walter has just ruined everyone. Like... They've all been nicked off one by one. And finally, someone fucking told Walter that we had a good thing going if it wasn't for your ego. Walter was making enough money. Everyone was happy. Everyone was was okay. And then Walter got carried away with Gus. Gus? Oh, hang on, hang on. We've got to be careful with that one. Because you do have to remember, Walter lost Gus's favour when he saved Jesse. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So that one's a bit of a... It's a bit of a... It's hard to say. I don't know how much Mike considered that or knows about that. Yeah. But really, Walter was purely in Gus's favour and he was staying in his lane. He only lost his favour when he saved Jesse's ass. So Jesse has to be accountable for that too. It's unfortunate that Walter's where he's at and, and Walter's definitely cooked the books now. But the turning point with his relationship with Gus was really that. Now, yes, you could argue that it was maybe going to happen inevitably because of who Walter is. But that's the accountability there. So yeah. much of Walter's taking all the blame, he did it to save Jesse at the time. So he did it to save Jesse. And the only reason why Jesse found out was because what? They're in that they were in that new territory and then they saw the guy. Oh no, she, yeah, he was at Andrea's house. 
And then you could argue the only reason that Combo died was That's because of Walter's well. greed. Which then, so there's a lot of cause and effect here. Look, yeah. I'm just saying Jesse has a big role to play yeah. as well, as yeah, much as yeah. I love the guy. Walter did do a pretty noble act there. He had nothing to, nothing to gain from that and everything to lose, and he didn't. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So I'll, I'll, I'll grant Walter that. I'm trying to be as fair in this show as I can. It's hard, but... But at the same time, did he do it... <sighs> did he do it because he cared about Jesse or because he needed him? I think because he needed him, personally. He didn't need him, though, because Gail was still alive at that point in time. I think he needed him emotionally, maybe, yeah. but he didn't need him to cook. He could get a, an assistant. Gus was going to pay for anyone. He had all the money he needed. But even the way he was speaking to Todd as well, you just know, like, in Walter's eyes, something was missing. So I do feel like it was out of need, out of necessity. A anyways, either way, it's pretty fucked that, you know... Uh, it's interesting, right? Walter thinks things through. And I do believe he did to some degree as well because he took the gun out of the bag in advance to just kill Mike and then be like, oh, shit, actually, I could have asked Lydia. I don't know. Like, he's slipping. He is slipping a lot. And I don't know. He's well, I think... What he realized, the point of that was that he realized he didn't have to. Because I, I don't, in a weird way, I don't think Walter was fully content with killing him. He was sort of like shit. He had a little bit of respect. They've been through a lot. He didn't want to kill him. He did at the end there where he snapped. But when he was sort of emotional, he was like, "This could have all been avoided. I could have gotten the name of Lydia. Like, I could have just let you go, and it would have been, you know." I don't think he too, he, did, he wasn't sort of like. You know, it's your fault, it's happening, bad luck, enjoy your fate. He wasn't just, he was remorseful yeah. to a degree. So he wasn't ha happy that he's dying. He just realized that it could have been avoided. That was the point of Lydia. Well, but the, I, I know that. But what I'm saying is I think Mike putting me in his place and giving a bit of truth it was like always putting a mirror up. And maybe that's the Walt that we're seeing now that was remorseful to some degree because he did let his ego kill a man. Like, he let his ego kill a man, essentially, because he didn't like the way that Mike said the truth. Yeah. Because, really, if yeah, you no, needed... No, I know, I agree. You it's, it's a lot going on in my head. There's a lot going on. If you needed the names, killing Mike wasn't going to do anything. But well, you needed the names, so you killed Mike. That doesn't make sense. So... No, I, no, no, we know that. We, yeah. know, we know that. The point was the whole intervention, the whole... Screwing Mike up, which even caused an argument between them. He's just saying that whole thing could have been avoided. We'll give him a bag, let him go, and just not had to get to this point where they both yeah. lobbed each other's faces. You just knew some shit was going to go down when Walt said, I'll do it. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good death in a way, a fitting death for the scene anyway. It does leave me sad. It's probably one of the sadder deaths, I think. But he we... just left his granddaughter there as well. And at the end there, we heard the playground noise and his daughter swinging on the swing and... It's a very fitting death. He died doing the two things that represented him, his granddaughter and his business. Yeah. It's sad though. Like even the fact that he would have had to leave and never see his granddaughter ever again. And Mike was like a, a bit more of a head screwed on father figure for Jesse now Jesse's alone to fend off Walt and Todd. And I, I feel know. like Jesse's going to get outnumbered here because if he gets back in the business because, you know, Todd's missing a few screws, we know that. Nah, Jesse's, Jesse's going to lose the absolute plot now because... Well, his... you think Walt's going to tell him? He still doesn't know about Jane. Maybe at the end, end, but I think it's going to be a while. Walt's not going to risk telling him. He's going to say the police did it or some cover-up. Hmm. He's not going to risk losing Jesse. And when Jesse... Lo when Jesse Mike dying might even make Jesse some multiple spin in some way to get Jesse back in. I wouldn't be surprised nah, if that happened. Nah, Jesse's at the point where he can't, he can't, not from that, not from someone dying. Well, it depends how Walter spins it. I wouldn't underestimate, he might not happen, but I would underestimate Walter's ability to yeah. spin the truth. I also found interesting the fact that, you know, Walter's just, he wants to talk about his job like, like it's his teaching. Oh, I'm working with a new guy today, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no one cares. Did you ask about Skylar's day? Did you, like, did he, has he checked in at all? Yeah, he's very narcissistic now. He's just completely self-absorbed. 
He's in his own reality of glory and that's it. Well, he obviously doesn't care because he's just like, you're going to close the car wash today. Don't worry about it. You don't need to know the details. And that's fair enough, like not knowing the details. But I don't know. I just don't, I'm not liking his attitude. I must say, I, I just realized the titles, like, holy shit. It feels like two different episodes. I realized this is the same My Name episode. Yeah. It started and finished. Like, Walter at the start was fantastic. That speech, everything about it was amazing. But I think it's also what separates him from Gus. Yeah. Because Walter's very egotistical and very arrogant. And I think that's his flaw It's or, and his weak spot. You couldn't imagine Gus being that abrupt. Gus would say less words, more meaningful ones, but he would, his actions would lead. Yeah. He, Walter yaps a lot. Gus's weakness was emotion attached to the past, and Walter's is obviously his ego. Oh, yeah. Well, we had that. His weakness was, yeah, Dior. But so we, we started off with Walter, just absolute badass. He did this near perfect deal, screw Jesse over, but got oh, no. Mike out. But the amount this episode turned, how much was in it? In a way, Walter saved his neck by getting the bug out, thanks yeah. to Mike. But in the end, Mike couldn't save himself. Like, it's just, oh. I know. How horrible is that? And to say that, like, I don't know. Like, we need to go to the Jesse and Walter interaction because that was next level. And it, it honestly makes me fuming to the point where he's just using every tactic in the book to make this go, like, every bad thing he's ever done. Oh, don't worry about the ones you've done, Walter. But oh, you're gaming, cool, whatever. You're getting high, the yeah. Gail. He went, he went below you, the belt. Yeah, of course you mentioned Gail. What about the people that you killed? Yeah, well, like, he's never to accept that, but he, yeah. He went below the belt to try and emotionally manipulate him as always back in, to get back into the game. But dude, like, give the guy his money. It's his. A lot of it is his. Like, honestly. Well, he, he funded the startup for all the... He did get a bit extra cut for that, in fairness. He got that back. Did he? Yeah, I think he did, yeah, when they were dividing the money remember back then. Mm. Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. I can't know. I can't trust you when you say things Dude, confidently. Don't you remember when Mike was the money? He was like, This is for this. And he goes, We he goes, these two are for Jesse because we paid. You go back watch the episode. It's very. It was very clear. It was very clear. There's only been one scene where they're splitting the money. Yes, and in that first scene when Mike first popped it on Walter that you got to pay for the nine guys as well. Yeah. They had both gone. Jesse, here's your shares for the startup, and Jesse was like, "No, like it's all good. You guys can have it." And they're like, "No, no, no. You've done it right. We're gonna give you that money." Yeah, but then after that, do you not remember after that where they were fighting about something else, and he's like, "Take it from my, take it from mine." But they didn't take it from his. Mm. Okay, whatever. Anyways, the point is, Jesse deserves a lot of money. Walter's just shitting on him, like always. Like, who do you think you are? This guy has risked so much. Give him, like, a payout. <laughs> I'm, th I'm just thinking, like, yeah, to a degree. Because I, I know we're biased towards Jesse. We love Jesse. No, but logically, if the guy wants out, the guy wants out. Like, he, yeah, I Walter, get that. Walter forced him into this initially, right? into this whole business deal. And it was whatever Walter wanted. We want to push the border and go on a different block. Guess who paid the price? They both did, but so did Jesse, right? He lost a friend. I get it, man. But I also feel like you are, you're almost overly committed to the anti-Walter. Like, no, I'm not anti-Walter. Jesse has many opportunities on the way yes. to pull Walter back in. And now when Walter's become too much to handle, it's not working in his favor. But does Jesse no. deserve deserve uh, money is, is questionable. The whole course. business but, oh, they don't deserve shit. This whole business doesn't deserve shit. They make their money. How many how many illegal and immoral actions has Jesse done? He doesn't deserve anything. He's lucky that he can walk away from this with, with his life, if anything. Yeah, but I understand that. I know what you're saying, business-wise, but it's questionable because even then... Nah. I, I think, right, because we're not saying like... Or if this happened, I'm saying this is what has happened. And because of that, stop laughing, because of that, he should get what he's owed. He, Jesse was going to sell his part of the methylene to get $5 million. Walter talked him out of that. Like how, like the guy is trying to leave and then to suit you. Yes, like, just has been outplayed, but Jesse got to have accountability. When he thought he was on a winner, he forked up the money to start up this business. Walter couldn't yes. have started to give me that, Jesse. Yes. So 
Jesse played a game and he lost. It's like gambling. If you play a game and you lose, you can't then say, well, I deserve to get my winnings back or that I gambled away. No, he gambled and he lost. I'm not saying that Walter's treatment is fair, but in the end of the day, in this game, with the choices Jesse's made, he gambled with fire while he thought he could be an absolute winner, top dog. He, you know, went but in. can I just say, with Walter initially, like we're going back to season one now, he... He was saying no to Walter and Walter obviously just said, well, it's either I hand you in to the authorities or you come work for me. That's not much of an option. Yeah, but that's not why he's still here. That happened no, back but then. But I know, but that's Jesse's how had many. It doesn't matter. Jesse's had many outs and when he does, he's like, no, we're back in. He gets excited. They both played their roles. The point is they're both put I, in. Wait, hang on. I under... No, no, no. You can't you're season one dismissing. justify this No, now. no, You're dismissing. Oh, my God. You've cooked it. Season one is how it all started. So how can you... So what, how does I'm that relate... Be... How does that relate to Jesse now yeah. after having had three or because, four hours? Because I'll tell you now. I'll tell you why. This is like... I'm, I'm leveling it right now, right? A to B. Not A to B fucking everything in between, right? I know there's nothing. I should have done A to Z and then everything in between. But Walter lumped on risk on Jesse straight away from that, fir from that first interaction. You're coming to work for me or you're going to the authorities. Bam, risk. Yes, your point? So my point is, despite what happened in between, like... There should be some kind of compensation for the risk that he was forced into, no? It's a shit argument, dude. It's because, not. It's no, not it a is. shit argument. It is, because you're trying to talk morals in, a, in, a, in an entirely immoral situation. Jesse has had more than one out since then. He kept gambling because he thought he could win. Hang when on. you play that game, hang on. Do you think Do you think Did Gus owe Walter something? Did Gus? Owe Walter anything. What do you mean? Walter was cook, cooking his meth. Yeah. But did but it, and if Gus decided to, to off him and say I'm not paying you, I'm offing you because you're a liability, would you say Gus owes him? No, why? Because Gus had a business. Walter played the game and he lost. No, but they willingly went into that business. And Jesse willingly went to this one. He didn't get no, caught. no, initially he didn't willingly get in there. That's a shit argument, dude. If you get your first job and and your job's shit and you and you were naive and you went into a cool, then you get another job, and another one, and you get six more, and then the sixth no, one you get. No, he didn't willingly go stop, into it. Stop. <laughs> By the time you've had... What are you talking about, dude? It's a stupid argument. Jesse didn't got blackmailed the first time. Yeah. He had two or three times since then do you where think... business has ended. No. Hang on, hang do on, hang think... on. Do you think Walter would have let him leave? No. So when Walter called enough. Jesse and offered him to join Gus and Jesse said no, and then he called him back and said, I'm in, did Walter coerce and blackmail him or did Jesse choose to come in? Why did he... Remind me, why did he change his mind? Because Walter said that your cook's as good as mine. Who cares? What's your baby? Oh, your cook's as good as mine. I I've got to work for you now. Like, come on, no. man. And then after that, they killed Gus. No, it was 50-50. They killed... Why. Doesn't matter. Who cares? You could be 100-0. No one's forced him to go I in. get it. You're going to blame you... Walter for I... Jesse choosing to go in. Like, come on, man. Wake no, up, wake talking... up to yourself. You're being, you're being a clown now. <laughs> I'm talking about way before that. But that doesn't matter. What I'm saying is, just because he coerced him the first time, that's fine. That happened. Jesse got out. Jesse got in. Jesse got out. Jesse got in. Jesse got out. Jesse's got what? Jesse's not going to be accountable for getting in and playing a yes, dangerous game. No, but I'm saying for that risk that he initially got lumped into, I think either even the first time he should have been gone and paid out. Like every. But he's got. But it doesn't matter. They've, they've both lost out. They've both taken risk. They've both killed for each other, and they've both done things that they didn't want to do for each other. In the end, they both ended up losing most of their money Hang because on. they gambled Hang too on. hard. How many times did Walter lose his money and had to use Jesse's? How many times did Jesse bail him out with that? Okay, and, and Walter lost now. literally his entire life with Gus, saving his life. Like he, he, he paid it back in the end. That was pretty big, dude. He, has, he was set for life. Yes. And he put himself a, a, a hit on his head. Sacrificed everything, the entire business for Jesse. That is, he's paid it back, dude. They both done it for each other. I think Jesse's a better kid than Walter is. I'm not arguing that. But your whole point, for those of you who are still with us, because you guys probably like fallen asleep, <laughs> but your whole point, I'm just saying, yes, if you were looking at it very morally and very narrowly, you could say Jesse's owed something. But I'm yeah. saying that Jesse also, in this industry, with the choices he's made, the games he's played, the risks he's taken, I you, know. don't, you don't have the right. Mike's not sitting there in the end going, I deserve the better death.
because you didn't. Unfortunately, you played the game. No, the thing is, who is Walter to make... No, listen, right? Hear me out. I've been arguing. I'm no, done. No, I'm no, done. no, no, no. All right, I've, can, already, I've already destroyed you. You can sit there silently. Who is Walter to... Mike and Jesse had a perfect deal. Who is Walter to ruin that deal and then dismiss Jesse and get... Mike his money and dismiss Jesse completely. And then when Jesse says, well, look, like I let you go ahead with that deal. Otherwise we would have just taken it without your knowledge at the methylene. And I'm trying to help you out here too, give you what you want. And then the moment Jesse is trying to get what he ori his original plan was and get what he wants, Walter goes, nah, too bad. You help me, but fuck you. That's what I don't like. <laughs> Am I not correct? There's no, you're not. But there is merit to that. But I would equally, I would equally say there's merit to you've gotten Walter to fork in to a business. You've all agreed to a business. You've all taken near death risks. Walter's invested time, money, everything into no, it. No, 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 no. Then you, then you turn around and say, "Hey, I want out." When it's when you've just started to get this up and running. Yes, you're entitled to do that, but. In, in some limelight, he's also screwing Walter over because... Well, a kid was killed. Like, let's let's not forget about that. That line can't be blurred. A kid was killed. Yeah, that's like, fine. But if business, that's not a big doesn't out, care about that. Business doesn't care about that. No, Walter's ego doesn't care about that. But so does business. No, Walter's... Because $5 million is more than Walter could have ever imagined. Just like Jesse said, it was 700000 and whatever. Anyway, look, I think we've made our points... I don't think it's going to get any more practical conversation Can you guys here. let us know in the comments down below what you think? I have a Where feeling. Where are team Pudgy or team Spartan? Let us know. Honestly, like, I know... Because I'm I'm trying not to be biased. I know people in the comments are, you know, they obviously are oh, Spartan, so confident, and he gets shown up. Cool. That's fine. I love that too. But I really do feel with this one that a good proportion of people are going to agree with my logic. Because I do feel like your viewpoint... I'll tell you why. I feel like my viewpoint is looking at the scenario at hand because I like Jesse more, but I'm having to look at what have they both done. Whereas your viewpoint is very, you've got to like, you feel just been done wrong by it because no. you do love him more. Yeah. No, hang on. No, no, no. Oh, no, I don't want to say No, no, I'm wait. done. I'm done. <laughs> oh, it's what okay. It's what the end of the recording. No, no, wait. Just, no, it's not because I like Jesse more. If it was, if it was someone else, I would still think the same. I just think that, the deal they had, everyone was getting what they wanted, barring Walt's ego. Because Walt wanted, he was happy with that money that he had, right? But then his ego kept, you know, he wanted more and more. No one is questioning that Walt has played a massive role in this. I absolutely agree. So that's, all I'm, all, that's all I I'm saying. Don't... They all had a perfect out. They all had a perfect out. Walter didn't want that. And everyone is in the, has their prerogative to want something and get it. Exactly. And but prerogative does not equal that you're owed something. My, my it only is because my statement Walter is... Walter used up his his way out. You can't use someone else's way out to keep them manipulatively in. It was manipulation. Yeah, it's no shit. No one's saying, I'm not saying Walter's not, Walter's done a hundred things wrong. He, yeah. he played Jesse, he was unfair, he was wrong. I'm not, no one, there's not even the argument. I just, the whole play on words, we're going to end it here because this is going to be too much. The whole play on words was, I just said, I don't know if you can say Jesse's owed something in this industry with the choices he's made. When you go to a casino, you're not owed shit. Yeah, I'm not and, talking about that though. But but that's no, but that is that's what, what the whole point of it is. All started with that. Jesse, this is a casino game. You're, you're you're playing against the law. You're playing a dangerous game, and you win and you lose. And in this in this industry, Jesse could have gone got, gotten an honest job. He could have gotten. I know what he could have done. So I don't start. think he's owed anything. Is my point. I would like Jesse. To, I feel like it'd be fair and nice in this situation that Jesse would have something. Yes, and yes, Walter owes him. For a play on words in their business dealing, yes, but Jesse isn't actually owed a thing because of what he's a part I'm of. Not, yeah, you're talking from like a sense. You're not even talking from an individual sense. I'm talking from an individual I know, sense. But we, we between, that. between interactions we, of, of course, the people. That. But that's emotion versus objectivity. That's what I'm saying. No, but you're talking about like morality of the job that they're doing. I'm not talking about that. I'm but that's how I started my entire there. sentence. So I don't know what you've been here talking about. <laughs> Honestly, guys, you know that's it. It's done. Smoke pudge in the comments. Send it on her. Destroy her. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be bathing in these comments. <laughs>
it's sick. You know what? It's, it's sickening, and you're going to be put on blast. <laughs> that Mike's death has been tainted with this with this no, stupid debate. Not. It's been tainted. I should be here mourning Mike. The man got everything to the cause. We did mourn. No, not enough. Mourned him for two minutes and then 25 minutes of talking about this. <laughs> I think we've oh. actually been talking for 25 minutes. Oh, my God. Anyways. Either way, guys, brilliant episode. <laughs> if you're still with us at this point and you haven't clicked off and smashed your computer screen, then we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. But I do think it was a fantastic episode. I am very much sad that Mike is gone. I'm going to be thinking about that for a while. Just yeah, a lot of a lot of sentimentality. A lot's been happening here. It's all it's all coming to a bleak end. It is in, in that it's Game of Thrones vibes in in the yeah. sense that it is one Everyone's of those just things dropping like flies. And it's just you, 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 it's not going to get any better. You know, yeah. it's not going to get any better. I do hope though the interactions that he's seeing, like with Walter. And Skylar, like Jesse, I'm talking about. I hope those little things are giving him wake up calls to kind of, I don't know, completely get out. Yeah, I, yeah, he's not done just yet. It's not going to be easy to get out of this. Mm -hmm. And obviously, we've got that future part yeah. coming up. Hank, I mean, he's a great detective. He's done great. I just, I do. It's hard for me to fully cheer for him this one because I didn't want him to take out Mike. I didn't want yeah. Mike to go out this way. So you know, well done, Hank. But, but now that Hank is dead, if they find that no, out in time... No, not Hank, Mike. Oh, sorry. Damn. If, if, uh, now that Mike is dead, Hank might put together because he's like, oh, okay, so Mike's paying everyone. And yes, he got that, but yep. then who killed Mike? Yeah, and the blue crystal's still out there. Yeah. Yep. So yep. it's all narrowing down. Yeah. Guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this episode and me schooling Pudgy. No. <laughs> if, you, if you did, leave a like on the video, subscribe for more, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. Let us know how heartbroken you were when Mike died for the first time, and was it a surprise to you? And if you're Team Pudgy or Team Spartan in this debate. Team Spartan. No. And if you do want to watch three to four weeks ahead, we'll leave a link to our Patreon down below where you can watch our edited and uncut reactions. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you guys on our next reaction. See you guys.